It's an amazing privilege to be the person to welcome you to the 20th anniversary party for the Center for Justice and Accountability. Thank you to each and every one of you for coming tonight to celebrate with us. Before going any further, I want to say a quick thank you to a handful of people who have worked so hard to make tonight happen, including everyone working here at the Julia Morgan Ballroom, and especially CJA's staff who have been intensely concentrated on making tonight special. Jennifer, Blake, Susanna, Lisa, Meg D, Dietland, Nusheen, and of course, Dixon. As you all know, CJA's work confronts some of the most heart-stopping events that a person can experience, reflecting quite literally the worst of humanity. But we are part of an international movement, and you are all part of this movement, to hold responsible the people who commit these crimes by demanding justice on behalf of our clients. In so doing, we are showing the moral leadership that the world requires and are changing the course of history. And every single person in this room tonight is a valued member of the CJA family contributing to this work. Today, as you know, is International Women's Day, March 8th, which has been celebrated for over 100 years. Women have always been victims and survivors of grave human rights abuses, and in particular, subjected to sexual violence during armed conflict. Women have also played every single role in the movement to reclaim human rights for themselves, for their family members, and for the rest of the world. International Women's Day has been a hallmark for the peace movement, for disarmament, for equal rights, for the rights of women who have been displaced during armed conflict, and so it makes sense that on International Women's Day, we are celebrating CJA's demand for justice and accountability. Last month, we lost one of the heroes of this movement, Asma Jahangir, Pakistan's famous human rights lawyer, who is a colleague and inspiration to many in this room and a personal hero of mine for the past 25 years. The staff at CJA are part of Asma's legacy. And the success of our work depends on our staff's literally tireless efforts. It also depends upon the survivors with whom we work in partnership and to whom we look for leadership, and upon our many, many supporters and generous donors from over the past 20 years, and I hope future donors that will include many of you in this room. I am grateful for every single one of you. One thing you can do for us now is if you are on Twitter or Facebook, you can help us by tweeting about the gala at hashtag 20 years CJA. So an incredibly special treat that we have tonight um, is a performance by internationally acclaimed violinist Artem Kolesov Diaz. As you all know, CJA's mission is to hold accountable those who violate human rights and human dignity, and the survivors of those violations are our partners, and they provide hope and opportunity for change. Artem is a survivor who offers hope, especially for those who are targeted for their sexual and gender orientation. His followers on social media look to his leadership and strength in the face of pervasive disregard for basic LGBTQ rights. Tonight, he's going to perform Rachmaninoff's Vocalise, which he's arranged for solo violin. Artem told us at CJA that while this piece, the Vocalise, is usually performed by a soloist who is also accompanied by a piano or orchestra, he decided to arrange it for one instrument playing the melody and the accompaniment at the same time. To symbolize the power of an individual voice to bring attention to issues like discrimination and homophobia. Here's his story. <laughs> 